last night and today more rain. Yeah, today is, is an, it, it's like I said last night, you know, my my biggest issue with with yesterday, I was looking at heavy rain, which we did see some areas of minor flooding and I was looking at hail. OK, that that was that was it. Right. We yeah. checked off today. both of those Absolutely. yesterday. Today I'm now looking at wind it's gusts into the 30s, maybe near 40 along the coast. I'm also looking at heavy rain where I think there could be an even more significant issue with heavy rain today. And number three, if you're out on the beaches and I know if you're vacationing with us, I'm so sorry. Today oh. is not going to be a great day, but I also need you to stay out of the surf because we've got a big time rip current issue today as well. Very the surf is going to be very dangerous today. Let's show you what's going on right now with Storm Team 2 Viper radar. We've got thunderstorms that are developing up around Lake Marion this morning. Uh, in fact, our first flood advisory of the day has been issued up here around Lake Marion. We got some scattered showers developing across parts of Berkeley County and Dorchester County and some heavier downpours inching their way down the Charleston County coast. This is going to be a slow process. It's going to take it a few hours to get down the coast, but it's going to happen uh, as we are setting the stage for what is going to be a very unsettled day with temperatures around 70 this morning across most of the area. We're going to see only a few degrees of a climb between 70 and 75, and that's going to happen this morning with showers and thunderstorms redeveloping. Northeast to east winds at about 10 to 15 now. Those are going to go up to 20 to 25 by afternoon and push those gusts up to 30, even 35 in some cases. Here's how the day plans out for you. 71 at 8 a.m. Our high will be between 70 and 75 through noon as the rain becomes heavier and more widespread and that will carry us into the afternoon hours. We should be around 70 by 4 p.m. with numerous showers and embedded thunderstorms. Viper cast showing the radar lighting up between now and 10 a.m. and this will fill in through the midday hours and look how heavy this rain is. I mean, it's all the way closing in on the top of the scale here in some cases on the precipitation rate. So this is why we're watching for the possibility of one to two inches of rain across the entire area with some particularly in Berkeley, Dorchester, Charleston and Colleton counties. We think that's going to be the bullseye right here inside the metro as high as three to five inches of rain today and into tonight by the time all is said and done. Uh, this is going to be quite a prolific rain event for us today. Uh, so just make sure you're prepared for flooded streets. We will at least have a few flood advisories coming out today. I think if not even a flash flood warning or two, it's possible uh, with this kind of rain that's going to be coming down in some neighborhoods in particular interest right now is downtown Charleston and the Church Creek area uh, in West Ashley. That Church Creek Basin responds to heavy rainfall in a very, very poor way and particularly in a setup like today. And that's why we're going to be keeping a close eye on that for you as we head through the late morning hours, particularly midday and into the afternoon. Then another surge of showers and thunderstorms comes in late tonight into early tomorrow morning with the storm itself as that storm pulls up to the north into Williamsburg and Georgetown counties as we head toward daybreak. Looks like it'll come on shore somewhere in Charleston County. So today's threats limited issues with lightning, although there will be some thunderstorms there An elevated flooding rain threat. Wind damage threat is limited as well. We could see some pockets of power outages, perhaps some minor tree damage and some of those stronger gusts rip currents all the way to the top of the scale. That's a big concern out there on the beaches today. Tonight we'll keep the showers going with gusts up to 35 miles per hour, even some thunderstorms, and I think our thunderstorm chance goes up after midnight and some of those storms could be rather noisy as they're going to be charging in off of a fairly unstable Atlantic Ocean with scattered showers lingering into the day tomorrow. Looking ahead to Saturday, we clear out with a high of 86 and mostly sunny Sunday scattered storms. We're going to be in the low 80s. That rain probability at about 40% as we head through the day Sunday as we stay unsettled into early next week, about 82 Monday and count on two for the low country's only 10 day outlook. Tuesday's high around 80. We're going to be in the low 80s Wednesday, mid 80s Thursday and Friday with intervals of clouds and sunshine and just a slight chance of a shower or a thunderstorm each day as we warm back into the mid 80s, cruising our way toward Memorial Day weekend.